so um, guys in the previous sessions we learned about connectors right uh, we learned about soap connector and we learned about rest connector very important you will be creating a lot when you gain a little experience in pega and you work as a senior system architect in any pega project you will create those integrations quite a lot but that's outbound that means that we are getting the uh, we, are, we are actually trying to access a different system a different system through their apis and we are connecting to them we are sending some process requests they are giving us some result Manish, session is uh, recording i think so okay, let me just check quickly one second all right so it is um so right so the other system that we were connecting to is processing our request and giving us the result but for an enterprise application enterprise application stack pega could be acting as other system for other systems as well right so you might want to host some services on pega right and then uh, they the third party systems will call pega service right pega apis to um to process cases to get data to whatever they want to do so in this session we are going to learn about service and we will learn two type of service rest and soap two service types we will run uh, we will learn about right rest and soaps are protocols basically that we discussed about uh, previously as well um, <clears throat> when we create a service in pega we need to understand what are other things we need to create the very first thing that you need to create is service package now service package is kind of a container that groups together multiple services why do we create it just for the grouping no on the service package we put authentication along with some other uh, important things like access group right access group uh, basically decides or determines what level of uh, uh, access uh, what level of access the services or the call but basically api call is going to have on our application okay so that's one thing under the service package we have the service depending upon the type service will get the request parse it or map it to map it to a boat then a service activity will run we'll have to configure an activity here then service activity will execute and prepare the response on the clipboard then you will send the response to caller uh, you might want to stream it if it is soap or basically map it to json okay so map from clipboard this is what we all do okay in a very high level detail now we are going to create the very first service using rest okay the huge case is that we are going to create credit card application cases let's talk about some business scenario why and when we will you be doing you guys might have seen quite a lot of uh, basically um, companies like bank bazaar right uh, there are several other such companies bank bazaar and uh, uh, what are others uh, there are several so they accept applications on your behalf and they actually but they do not provide any loan or any credit card right banks provide that so they send your request to the bank and bank processes it there might be multiple way of sending it they might just collate all the request and send it into a file to the bank the bank will um, load that read that file and create cases for for all the application that could be one thing or 
maybe it can be real time the bank has an api and bank bazaar policy bazaar they all are using those apis immediately once they get the request from customer and creating a case creating a request on the bank that could be one such scenario let's go with that let's say that bank bazaar or any other organization we are collaborating with them they need an api to create a credit card application that's the huge case the first thing that we are going to develop is rest service service rest okay all right let's do this mahesh small clarification mm -hmm. So yesterday means day before yesterday Saturday, you have explained the integration of the REST and SOAP UI. So now service means I am getting just a bit confused on what is the uh, what we are doing here. So today with REST when, and SOAP. Right. So last day, basically last in the last sessions, um, two sessions, what we learned is how do we call different system to get our job done right get some data mm -hmm. get some processing done there so you were calling the other system you your processing was not happening at pega but processing was happening at some other place right some other application correct, correct. this time we are going to develop those kind of processing at pega and some other application will consume it it's the other way around okay okay, okay? okay. we are developing service not the connector okay services are oh. meant to be connected by other system or consumed by other systems other applications okay okay got it yeah, yeah. thank you all right so see currently how our application is written uh, we are actually not uh, be whatever customer detail we are getting we are storing that into a database right storing it into a database table and then we are processing it since your call is going to be from going to be from api ideally this screen should be skipped we do not need these the data should automatically populate it should automatically go to review when you run an application uh, actually let me show you from app studio one good uses of app studio so you go to app studio you click on preview okay and then you create a case you say no new customer no yes sorry no and see you see that design coming up this is because this is checked didn't check uh, design toggle is on you can click on editing off runtime editing will not happen so on the app studio while executing a case you can edit a few things i'm going to edit a few things so i'm going to enable the editing but design toggle is still off on the header so c0001 when i go to next screen i get the detail address and everything is okay customer but this customer information is coming from a database table right if it is existing customer if it is new customer then the user has to enter it now that when they are calling the api they will send us new customer or old customer if no new customer they will send us if new customer then they will send us the customer detail if it is old customer then they will send us uh, then they will send us only um, what basically customer id okay if they have it all right so once you create it you get a review screen i mean you your case goes to review
when someone is reviewing it they should ideally see the customer information okay they should ideally see the customer information actually this section down there is called case information that's where it should ideally come so you can click on the configure view and edit this view and add add a section to show the customer information you might already have got that section submit application but this is still using the savable data page so that's okay we can leverage that add this section right but this should be always in read only mode sorry so this view submit application even not there not there submit application presentation here it should be read only always line the view is distorted a little bit let me review it again this by default comes as read only but this is design okay yeah this section on the top section we want to make it edit on read only setting presentation edit option read only always No, read only always sorry okay good i think there is something wrong with this section customer let's see editable that's why it should be auto it was marked as editable always yeah now this should be good right so this is getting the data when you are approving you can see that let me just create a quick case, new case but just to see if everything is working fine and i have not changed okay good this is still read um, editable and once we create it it goes into read only mode good this is what we needed perfect all right let's close it exit preview let's go back to dev studio right so we know that they will send us uh, if it is new customer they will send us the customer information if it is old customer then they will send us um, the cid let's create a service package first so service package is integration resource and we will create a service package named B4V API. Okay. Mm, 
let's set the access group at the moment of authors later we will change it requires authentication i'm going to disable the authentication at this moment that's it that's the role of service package right now uh, now my service is going to create a case in this class i can actually create it into a different integration class or i can directly reuse everything by creating it here in the ccc application so that's where i'm going to create the service so create integration services rest service rest service name create cc application package the one that we just created b4b api version is v01 build template we will simply add one create cc app one part of the url literal submitted so that will be part of my url so after the url it will just say create cc something like that after the system address as url create and open so this is this is the url this is the endpoint url for the rest service when other system want to connect to it um, i will have it specific to cc application class so let me just put it there all right so um go back to method it's not get post we will have put so if you search put and post method so put request multiple times will always produce the same result while calling post repeatedly have side effect no not this one put method is used to modify a single resource post method is used to add a child so actually it should be post so let's create a post method <clears throat> so in the post what we are expecting from them not header forget about the header we want them to send some query string query string that we will use in our data right so we want them to send uh, something like uh, first thing is of course they will have to send new cust and clipboard it is going to be directly we will store it into new cust property that's one thing yes or no then if it is new cust they will have to send the cid sorry if it is old cust we will otherwise we will generate the cid cid mm, cast id then they will have to send first name not always these are the important last name email phone uh, let's keep that this much only at the moment we will temporarily store them onto customer property that we have created we can leverage that so it is going to be customer dot this is first name right first name then customer dot last name customer dot email on customer dot on add one more and 
report customer dot pan okay this much is needed that's the request okay in the response we will send them the case id created so we will map it we will send the entire clipboard page okay let's say so we will send them the clipboard by work page the entire content of the case created we will send them we can refine that later if you want to you can create a separate page for the refund uh, for return but at the moment let's just keep it simple okay so that's the message data that we will return in the response this is the request good now we need to create an activity that will do the job this is just the interface right actually the activity will create the case and everything so create cc app application Let's create and open it it's going to be in the same class that we specified earlier cc application good create credit card application at the moment i'm just going to comment it and save it so that i can first save the entire work okay so now my work is saved that api is ready you can consume it of course right now it will not do anything now let's configure it remember whatever result you are getting and you're mapping in the request that's on your primary page that is on no, your uh, sorry to interrupt no problem so we are I, I am still seeing this create activity thing. So is it same for all? The... At the moment, I'm displaying you the service. Yeah, now it is. Now it came up. Maybe it's there is a lag. All right. If that's um, that persists, let me know. Okay. So these are the properties that we are getting from the service, and we are putting that. We are mapping it on the clipboard. So by default, it is going to be primary page for your service because when you when you want to access these properties that you're getting from the request and map to a clipboard, that's going to be on the primary page because it's in the same class. So we can access them from the primary page. Okay, we got the data. We can access those that data in activity. But how do we create the case? how do we actually create the case well there is an activity called svc add work object this is an activity that we can use it's out of the box pega provided activity this is an activity that we can use to create a work object create a case it needs some parameter it needs the flow type that you want to run which organization you want to run it for what is the work page of the case that you will create right so we'll create a case and that's what we will pass as a page parameter any if you are adding it as a child case of any other class case we will learn about the parent child then what is the parent case handle return next action um, check field security these are a few things you will learn and skip create view skip create view means that skip the first stage yes we want to skip that when it is created by api because this needs not to be submitted it will automatically be submitted by the api all the data that we are we were entering here will be provided by the api so we can leverage this activity so first thing is let's add a py work page let's create a work page that we will use for the new case On the py work page whatever information we have got from the service let's put that so property set on the py work page we are going to set certain values so first of all new customer was it a new customer or old customer let's set that to py work page so whatever is the page you have specified that's where this these properties are going to be set and where you are leveraging it from primary whatever we got from the service request new cust and then the cid okay 
okay good now if it is when if the primary actually this should have been first to specify it primary dot mucus if it is yes if the value of this is yes then i should generate the customer id if true then continue if false then skip to a later jump to a later step and that later step is going to be let's say uh, old it's okay so we will jump to old jump to later step old but if it is yes if it is new customer then we will continue when it is a new customer all right then we will generate we will do a property set we will generate the customer id so we will set it we will generate a customer id in this py workplace dot test id and the value we will use the same expression generate id good if only this will only execute when it is yes otherwise it will go to the next step old step okay generate id so we generated the customer id you generated the customer id and you need to now save this record remember we need to save it what it's a new customer the application is saving the data as well when you are running it using saveable database it's old now this time this is old sorry this is new but from the api so we will we will we have the saveable data page for the customer record right we can leverage that to whatever information we have got let's save that out let me open that data page name we have used that update insert is the same thing we can leverage the same update insert this one so this we will add the values to this saveable data page cid it needs cid right parameter is cid and the parameter value is going to be the ui work page customer id on this we will set all the values that we have got so for example we have got primary from the service okay so that's why primary dot customer that's where we have put it first name let's keep on adding this last name actually you know what i can copy it from your first name last name email phone and pan card these are all primary okay. and this should go to individual so this is last name and i should have dot last name this is the first name the and i should have first name this is email the and i should replace this to email this phone number and replace with phone number 
is pan and replace it with pan number good so i've got i've generated that and i put it on the saveable data page the next thing that i should do is save the data page so this is how from the activity you can save the data page instead of flow action flow action is what you have learned so we will just save this data page data page yes and it will ask me to provide the customer id which is available on to py work page cast id so i will save this record and right now means commit immediately okay good if it was new customer then we saved it if it is old it will come to here if it is old you don't have to do anything anyway right uh, new customer data is inserted old customer it's continuing okay you do not have to you just you just have updated the uh, customer id that's what will be leveraged by the system to show you the information when the reviewer opens it good now we will have to call this activity from an activity if you want to call another activity the method is call and then activity name <clears throat> it will ask you to provide the parameters the parameters forget about everything else but b4b is the organization we need to provide work page is our py work page and we want to skip the create once it is done then you are, your work page will have all the other details that's it save it now i have that activity ready <clears throat> i have my service ready i can test it so you this is the service rule go to the action and click on run the post method is what we have configured it will ask us the new customer i will say no new customer no cid c001 no need to input first name or anything in this case and you can have tracer on as well while you are running it so let's execute it good seems like everything is fine this is the return this is the content of the py work page in xml kind of form uh, in um, xml format that's okay uh, the important factor here is let's <coughs> note down the keyword mm, the keyword means basically this is the customer id this is okay um, the py id the, the case id you'll see it somewhere mm. Actually, we should not return that much information. I will. Okay, so this is the case got created. Okay, the C ten zero zero three. <clears throat> okay, let's open that case ten zero zero three. This is the case that got created. See, it is automatically moved to the get approval because we had. When, when calling this create case activity we had skipped create view so it has already skipped the first stage submission has already been skipped the data has already been populated so that's what you are seeing here okay so that's for the old customer let's let's test it and don't worry about this let's test it for the new customer ones so again run it but this time you say yes so you don't have to supply the cid even if you supply that will be ignored uh, let's say a b c is my first name x y z is my last name a b c at the rate x y z is my email phone number is this pan is or oh, 10 digits so one two three four five six one eight nine ten 
okay let me enable the tracer this time too in case there is any error trace it let's execute this good this time it executed as well which case did it create hmm. four let's see fourth number hmm. there is a problem did it create that customer one second no it did not create that customer xyz that means something could have gone wrong yeah data page Let's go here so we insert insert record has the CID generated good then we are doing this is the CID then we are doing certain other stuff property set so all the data first name last name everything is updated here good then okay obj open by handle why so when rule true which one rule okay that means it actually understood as old record let me check what we have configured on this so is new this is fine so this is okay it set that property and all that then save data page should have happened this is all okay CID is set update 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 let's see where we are trying to save this save data page fail to find record that is fine No, it did it couldn't save it right okay last time when it is trying to update it did not get any cost so okay the see the CID is null somehow so that's why save didn't work let's see how are we passing that this is okay save data page CID somehow is not being picked up. Hmm, no problem. I do have CID generated here. I will put it into a parameter. Param dot CID. Same customer ID. I'll put it there. Save it. And I will use this param dot CID here pass it and let's close it and create a new record this is the same record actually same case but let's enable the tracer one more time execute it okay all successful good let's first see we have got the record in the table or not seems like we okay so that record was inserted but a little late actually so even if we open this application one more time it should open right 
cancel it anyway let's refresh it open the fourth no but does it has the CID on the clipboard let's check update record required parameter CID cannot be blank okay that's fine because customer ID okay the work page customer ID is not populated all right let's see what happens to the fifth one also same case the work page customer ID new customer value is populated but the customer ID is not populated that means there is a problem here when we are setting py work page customer id when it is yes then only we are setting it so step two is it not recording that let me see inbound mapping create work page from the new cast yes this is true if it is true then it should be with the CID on this but what about the PY work page case key yeah this is the py work page does it has the cid cust id is setting that <clears throat> so cust id is being set here should be okay then create work and everything is going on no assign page PY work page control F cast ID new cast value is yes but cast ID is somehow PI ID is okay Why is the cust ID is gone? Mm. Old, then it is fine. let me do one thing at the end property set we'll have to investigate that but that's okay for the moment i'm gonna set that cust id param dot cid this value has to be set here too in case it is old record okay. let me create one more case switch on the tracer execute to find a record okay anyway let's see the new application that got created six okay this also probably doesn't have the CID 
so when it is a new customer seems like the customer id is missing when it is old customer let me create one with old customer sorry no then when we execute it in that case the CID is being persisted on the case okay which means somehow when we are creating the case using that activity the data and everything is working fine it's just that the customer ID that we should have set up is getting lost from the work page even the result of this has just so this is the old one this has the customer id but if i say it's no yes oh the cust id is there Sorry, I set the value on the property set, but I did not save it. We just save. okay let's test it again this time it should work so this is new customer yes execute it the customer id is there the case id is nine <coughs> All right, so the data that we entered there, what? <coughs> this is not right. Did it corrupt the record? C1. No. Okay, I think it's in the same session. Could that be a reason? Let me just log off once. Log back in. <clears throat> where is my service call it one more time No customer, yes, no CID. <coughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 
let's enable the tracer too. Okay, CID is there, 10 is the case number that got created. Let's look at the tracer first. At the end, we are doing a property set here on the py work page first id is set rightly if the cast id is set rightly so it should rightly be saved as well done all right so this is coming fine the customer id is fine let me open this but the information of this customer is not coming up. Let's see. Hmm. Just does have the beat. Okay. There's one problem there. This is in the same session or what? If you open the clipboard, update insert, the update insert, this should be reloaded actually. This should be reloaded in order to see us, show us the result. So if I close this and open this again no so idly <clears throat> i should remove that page page remove and the page that i should remove is this one so that it is open new time it's a table receivable right that's why now let's create a new one eleven Okay, no problem. So actually it is working fine. There is one just one problem. Okay, this section has savable data page. It should actually ideally be having a read only. So let me just modify this to fix this issue altogether. Okay, so this is the case information. Under the case information, we have used create. I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to configure a read only. Okay, so submit application was supposed to be used using savable data page that's why the problem is so i'm going to embed another section the customer only that's what we need so embed section but using data page and the data page is going to be d underscore get customer by cid dot cust id and this is the customer so it's going we are going to use the read only Okay, this should be okay now. Because the problem is, saveable data page once loaded, it remains until you clear, and sometimes it doesn't get cleared that easily. So, see, this is working fine now. All the information is getting fetched properly. So, case information is the section that we have in the credit application. So it was submit application that was supposed submit application was supposed to be used in the first screen. I reused it for basically taking some shortcut, but that was not working efficiently for the same reason. So we had to change it back, right? So I'm just using the now the read only data page to get the information and directly embedding the customer. All right. So this is how we uh, create arrest rest service okay
Similarly, we can create a SOAP service as well, but the SOAP service is um, going to have a little bit more rule because we need the XML parsing and streaming to happen there. All right. Uh, one more thing. Basically, whatever value we are returning here at the moment is the entire page, entire clipboard page. Ideally, we should not be doing that. Okay. Uh, ideally, we should create a response page, maybe of the same class. That's okay. You can keep it same class response. On the response, you remove property set. You do property set and set the value of response dot maybe py id. That's the case id we are returning, and it's py work page dot py id. And then put a note is created hard coded value CC application has been successfully created. Okay, save it. And we have been testing the API from basically from the run run option available on the service but let's just call it from an external system maybe from the soap api so rest okay this is put method and you will have to supply json now okay in the same format what we are expecting so this api takes new cast remember how we write it new cast value is no for the moment then eid cid is for the new old customer c001 okay then first name not needed for the old customer <coughs> we will just keep it blank first name last name email phone pan email phone pan Save it and the second thing is our response is on the rest page so our return value in the response should be from this page okay. the rest page now let's call it what? didn't result anything did it create any case No. <coughs> this is right, right? Create new customer. Query string value. Initialize. No, don't do query. This is okay. Oh, sorry. The protocol. Okay, yeah, it is corrected as well. This is fine. <coughs> this is application. Post query string. not creating any case okay. 
let's move the message body request raw json json hmm. actually let me add from here then name value no <coughs> query id c001 query is it with the, the query actually it's template matrix play now this is the one that should work this is parameter we're not sending that as a parameter That's query string, so this is JSON. <coughs> oh, this is wrong. Okay, new cast. Customer ID, no first name. <coughs> Let me just put something here. We'll have to trace it one second. Let's see why it's not working. Okay, tracer is running. Close it. Close this. And then trace it. Good. Sorry, it's post method, my bad. It was supposed to be post method. Yeah. See, um, we got the response. It's created. Okay. Oh, sorry. I put there in the wrong place. That's okay. In the activity, it should have been py note or message something like that. Okay. Anyway, the case is getting created. Now, if I just say yes new customer and okay earlier case let's just have a look at that well hmm, what happened to customer I, oh cid because we tried to modify it that might have corrupted it that's okay let's create a new one okay good so your application has been created this is the case id okay this is not working because it uh, to one second this is In the record explorer resources service package API and we have put authors let's set requires authentication basic okay we are enabling the authentication we need to pass the username and password <coughs> so here in the <coughs> call panel here actually we need to set the username and password request properties okay 
ओके सो यूजर नेम इज महेश तरेट बी फोर बी डॉट कॉम कुछ रोल्स नो नॉट रिक्वायर्डियलेस ऑपरेशन फोर ओ फोर नॉट अवेलेबल लोकल होस्ट यूजर नेम इस डेट करेक्ट Four or three, use of TLS is strongly recommended. The thing is, if I enable TLS, I need HTTPS. It's not available on HTTPS. So this is where it is. Try that again. Strongly recommended. If I just check this, then TLS. Yeah, I did that. Okay. Basic authentication. If I remove this, working fine. If I add this, It's not able to reach there because HTTPS is not enabled. So it should have been it should be HTTP, but then use of TLS is a problem. In any actual project, basically we have HTTPS enabled, it should not be a problem. So I will eventually have to disable this then. Close. Good. Run it. Okay. So it did create <coughs> did create the customer record. GGS, right? No, my issue is
this is your inbound data mapping properties that new customer is false it says new customer is false why so because inbound data mapping did not work that means the query is not reaching there actually this query is not reaching I set this and then call it to the clipboard. We are not reading the parameter anyway. This is not part of that. This query somehow seems to be odd. Anyway, at the moment we will continue to test from this tool only. We will figure that out uh, when we integrate that later. Okay. So just run it from here. Post new customer yes. CID no. First name anything. Okay, let's create it. See, a case got created 18. Let's see that 18 case. Good. It got all the data that we had captured. Let's just quickly test one more time for the old records. No. Execute. 19 got created. Let's open the 19 and this is for the customer one good so that's how uh, basically we can quickly set up <coughs> arrest service on pega i know this has been quite a lengthy session but that's also very productive we learned a lot of things we learned how to create case by skipping the first stage how to map the value from the query string to a clipboard property then leverage it to create a case right we learned quite a lot of things in this session and that's where we will conclude it